The Atlantic hurricane season peaks from uh, mid-August into uh, late October, so it's at this time of the year when we see all of those tropical cyclones developing for the most part. We have uh, here this uh, latest uh, system, which is uh, sitting over some warm waters, but should be moving over even warmer waters of 29 degrees Celsius. And as you can see here, the satellite picture is showing these uh, weather clouds banding together, the showers and thunderstorms as well, organizing. So that's why we could be seeing this system developing over the next uh, few days. Now, it is set to continue to push towards the west and then eventually push towards the west-northwest by a later on a Thursday. We could be seeing that begin to shift, getting close towards the Leeward Islands as you get towards the weekend. So obviously, they'll be watching this system quite closely. Now, it doesn't pose a direct threat to Trinidad and Tobago, but we could be seeing some showers developing as the system pushes towards the north. Meanwhile, as it gets near to the the Leeward Islands. There will likely be some of that uh, shear pushing through. This will likely hinder development once it gets to that area, but nevertheless, it will likely be a rainmaker once it gets towards the northern Leeward Islands. Now, for us here in Trinidad and Tobago today, we've just seen passage of a tropical wave. It did bring some showers early on this morning. Behind that, we do have a mixture of uh, sunshine and showers expected into the next uh, few days, but most of that activity will likely be around central to southern areas of Trinidad as we go through Thursday. And then on Friday, generally, most of Trinidad and Tobago will begin to see a lot more moisture and therefore some showers to end the working week. So for tonight in the Tobago, partly cloudy skies for the most part, maybe just a few brief showers around. As you go through your Thursday in Tobago, we're looking for mostly sunny skies, but it will be those brief showers that's popping up, especially along the coastline. For Trinidad overnight, still a few showers expected along the south coast around Amuruga and Pinal. For northern areas of Trinidad, it will be a partly sunny start, but do look for the clouds to build as you go through mid-morning, but most of the showers again should be around central and southern parts of the country. So no surprise then as you go through this wet season that for San Fernando, Pinal, down towards Amuruga, etc. Here's where we'll see a lot more of that cloudiness and there's a low to medium chance of a thunder shower. So still be mindful about that as you go through the afternoon. Now temperature wise, looking at oh, another warm night, no lower than 24 degrees Celsius in Trinidad. Tomorrow's high likely to be 32 in Trinidad, maybe it'll stretch to 33 in some parts with the sunshine. Now on a Friday with the passage of that system well towards our north, we could well be seeing some of that moisture pushing through into Trinidad and Tobago, bringing us some showers, some could turn heavy and thundery, especially around the Tobago as you go through Friday. On Saturday, we'll see a bit of a respite. And then on Sunday, another tropical wave will bring some rainy weather. Now for fisher folk and mariners, those easterly winds of 15 to 20 knots will continue, still bringing moderate choppy seas of two meters offshore and one and a half meters as you go through the Caribbean. And that's how it should stay as you go into your Thursday and continuing into Friday. Now, it seems as though the rest of the Caribbean is enjoying a mostly settled weather. For the Western Caribbean, there's no tropical cyclone development expected, so just some localized showers could turn thundery across Hispaniola. And for the Lesser Antilles, they'll be still seeing a fair weather for the most part, but obviously they'll be watching out that system out there in the Atlantic, basically pushing towards the west and obviously getting near to the island chain by the time we get to Friday. So we'll keep our eyes on that as we go through this August. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.